If you're living like an Eeyore, going back to character, man, come on, man. An Eeyore from Winnie the Pooh. You know what I'm talking about. Always moping around through life. Oh, woe is me. Oh, I'm so sad. Like, they call me ugly, so I'm ugly, man. Living a defeated life, man, you are called to be more than a conqueror. Man, you are called to conquer, accomplish wonders, man. God has prepared a table before you. The table is your life, man. Let me read the first verse. It's Psalms 23, 5, man. I got to memorize, man. Psalms 23, 5 says, man, the Lord has prepared a table before you, and he has, he, he prepared a table before you in the presence of your enemies, man, in the presence of your enemies, man, so what obstacles have you faced, what opposition are you facing, man, God has ordained and called you to face the opposition that you are facing right now, he has called the enemies in your life to be in your face, and to be in your, at your table, your table's your life, and it's up to you to defeat those enemies. And you don't have to do it on your own strength. You don't have to do it on your own accord. You don't have to do it in your own power because you can't. You need God. Psalm 4 verse 13 says, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me, man. Christ has given you strength. He has given you the power. He has given you authority. The authority. And you are supposed to move mountains, man. You are supposed to accomplish wonders, man. You are called to defeat those enemies. Just like David defeated Goliath, man. Goliath was way bigger than him, man. The odds weren't in his favor. He was supposed to lose. But look at him, man. Look, look. We're still talking about him today. You were called to be a conqueror, man. You were called to accomplish wonders. So, man, God has placed the enemies in your life. God has prepared a table before you. In the presence of your enemies, he has Noise your head with oil, your cup runneth over, man. So you should be receiving countless victories, man. God has ordained you and anointed you with oil, and that oil keeps the fire burning, it keeps your fire lit, it keeps you going, it gives you what you need, just like oil does for fire. You know, you put oil on a candle lamp, and the <laughs> and the oil keeps the fire going. That's what God's giving you. He anoints your head with oil. He anoints your mind with oil. So man, you ain't getting the oil. You ain't. You got stinking thinking. You need to go to the Word of God. You need to go to God and figure out what God says who you are. What God says about your life, what God wants to do with your life. Don't go to the world, don't go to TV, don't go to don't go to nobody else on earth. Go to God. That's why you guys think and thinking, because you ain't been going to God. Man, I'm gonna be completely honest with you, bro. Completely.